Hello YouTube, welcome to the Turbo Series. Today we're going to be finishing up the New Year celebration and getting ready for New Year Part 2, which is going to be absolutely incredible. Subscribe if you want to see the next episode. I know it's like the start of this one, you haven't even seen this one yet, but next week, oh, we're getting so much food, so many promotion stones, I'm very excited. But today, we still need to get our stuff done. We need to tidy up the account. Look at this. I have only 60 backspace. And there's something I've been sitting on, which I've been meaning to do, which we will do today. 120 cores of transcendence. This is stupid. I need to open these. Also, for those of you that are aware, that's like 1 million crystals of transcendence just sat in cores, which means I, I have 2 million crystals of transcendence. So if they do another event like they did at Christmas where they just give tons of crystals of transcendence out, I, I could get a third transcendence hero. I mean, it's doable. We just built Alamac and I'm already saying we could get a third one. It's mad if you spend, you get a lot of stuff. Anyway, we need to go ahead and make some progress. We need to finish the new year, so let's get that started. We're going to go into the Sky Labyrinth. So let's crack on with Sky Lab then. we got a few of these things to do. So we're just going to go ahead and click through this. Look, we got some pickaxes there for free. And hopefully we'll get the exit pretty soon. Where are you? Come on. Oh, we got a plus four energy as well. That's nice. So there you go. Add that in. Let's leave. So we should be able to get to stage 11. That'd be pretty easy. That's kind of where I want to stop, stage 11. So we'll go ahead and clear down the center, grab this pickaxe here, and we'll go up again, up the middle, and then we need some branches. So we'll go one, ooh, times two, uh, two, three, and then we'll do branches here, here, and then we'll click, we click, click again, do the active, and we don't get the exit. That's actually quite good then. So we'll go ahead and grab that map piece. That's going to get me this map area, which is going to get me a lot of promotion stones, 34,000. Thank you very much. We come back and next click. Where's the exit? There you go. Three clicks. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and hop back in. There you go. And there's my nine star puppets. I'm going to use those to build some 10 stars today, which is sick. Now we'll go ahead and click through. I'm not going to get an active skill on Halora here. So we'll just wait for something to come up. There's a times two. What do we hit? We hit some of that stuff, the monster parts. There's mithril pickaxes. Where's the exit? Come on, show me the way out. There you go. Claim that stuff. Grab the plus four there. And then we'll go ahead and leave. And we should get an active skill in the next area. And that's us done. So we'll go ahead and click. Click branch across. Ooh, what the heck? Was not expecting that. Takes to 40. That takes us to 42. We click again. Active skill. Boom. And we've got two times twos there as well. Nice. Okay. Click, click, and click. Grab that stuff. And now we need to go back into the event. See how many rewards we get here. So we are getting pickaxes from this one. We have five back. Sweet. I'm also going to go ahead and do some wishing coins now. As that will get us more mithril pickaxes as well. So we're going to go into the wishing fountain. I need to do this nine times on 10 spins. I'm going to refresh until we get a good... Whoa, okay, we got it straight away. That was dead fast. All right, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. There you go. Fantastic. So let's go and check. We've done all our Wishing Fountain stuff now. That's going to get me Rogan's Wishing Coins and Crystals of Transcendence. That's fantastic. Okay, we're now on 142 star points. Okay, that's easy then. We can go ahead and get that finished pretty cleanly. So we've got five pickaxes. Can we clear this floor in five pickaxes? I think we should be able to. Oh, no, we didn't. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to buy one pickaxe. And we get a pickaxe back. <laughs> Where's the exit? Come on. One more. Nope, but I get a pickaxe back. I get two pickaxes back. <laughs> wow. That was really cool. Look at me getting those pickaxes through. Fantastic. And I need to get two floors to finish it. Yeah, I do. But I'm not going to do another floor on here. Because I'm just getting a deluxe chest by doing that. So I don't want to waste gems. What I'm going to do instead is I will go ahead and just buy a mysterious chest. I think, I think it's the Profit Orbs. It's better value for Profit Orbs. And that's cheaper as well. Saves gems. So we'll go ahead and claim all that. And that is the end of the New Year event. We got ourselves tons of Crystals of Transcendence. We got ourselves B Stones. That's a B minus and a B plus right there. Five Mithril Pickaxes for some reason at the end. <laughs> I don't know why you get them because you're probably already finished. So I guess we'll just smash and see what happens. There you go. 
nothing. And that's us done. So we got those monster parts, so I can nearly complete this monster. It's been taking a while, but we're on 173. That just says how young this account is. <laughs> that I haven't even maxed out our monster yet, which is ridiculous. Now, we will go ahead and use our 60 bag space to get some food on the account. So I can use that to help us build some heroes. So how many focus copies do I have? We check this every time we go for course. I have five there already, and I have two there, so I'm on E2. Technically E3. So I need two more focus copies. So let's see if we can get them in 60, and then we can switch to someone else. So here we go. We're going to do a 10 bomb in guidance. There's a focus. Very nice. We'll do another 10 bomb. And from this 10 bomb, we're going to get ourselves, obviously, our transcending sphere. And we'll get a transcending sphere from this one as well. Still no sign of focus. Let's see if we can get him. That's an Arania. Next one. Is this a focus? Nope. It's another sphere. And it's the final 10 we can do. There is our focus. Fantastic. So we no longer want focus in this. Who are we chasing now? Is it Elena? I think it is. Elena is one of those heroes I just don't have. So we'll go ahead and make Elena our new hero to go ahead and grab. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So if I go now into the bag, we have a lot of Transcending Spheres to open. We got four of them. So that's going to be another one million Stellar Shards. So let's open up those nine star chests we managed to get and use them to build a couple 10 stars because Alamac needs imprints. Obviously, we'll be getting a lot of food next week, like I alluded to, but we'll still use these now to make some fodder. So let's have a look. Who have we got five copies of? If we look, wow, Gru is propping up the Forest Faction. That's an easy build. And in the Fortress Faction, I got a lot of people. Wow, who haven't we made to 10 star? OD? Mm, do I have a lot of copies of him? No, but Bleaker? Have I made him before? No, I haven't. We'll go with a 10 star Bleaker. Fantastic. Do I have any six stars already? That's always the best first check to do. I do, but only for dark and light. So we're going to go ahead and pop these open. I think we're just going to go with, yeah, two Fortress Heroes to help. That'll be completely okay. So we'll pop them in. And now we're going to build ourselves just a nine star in the Fortress Faction. So that's going to be Bleaker. So we click on Bleaker. We upgrade. We build him immediately. Fab. Okay, now we need another six star to help us. So we'll just go with a Valentino. All the fodder's getting put in there immediately. So that's great. And that means I can build a 10 star Bleaker now. If we click on him, we'll put in nine star. We put in the Valentino. Two more bleaker copies, and then we put in one of these nine star puppets, and that's a 10 star built and made. Fabulous. Next, we need to go ahead and build another 10 star for ourselves. I've never built a 10 star demon hunter, so I guess the next faction is going to be forest, and we're going to do that. So let's go in and nine star ourselves a demon hunter. So one, two more, put in our two six stars, and then we got to put in some five stars as well. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Our 13th is going to be this Vesa copy right here. And that is a 9-star Demon Hunter. Now we need to build a 6-star. That should be fine. Or we can go ahead and use a 6-star from the bag. We just get a chest open. That could work too. But I have a lot of heroes in the Forest Faction, right? It's absolutely stacked. So I think we'll just make a 6-star Dragon Slayer. So we put in two Dragon Slayer copies. And then we need four 5-stars. So we're going to go with that Faceless there. And then we've got that fodder hero we pulled out the bag. And the rest of it, I think it can be these two Molassa copies. And there you go. So with that, I should be able to build a 10-star Demon Hunter now. So we put in our 9-star. We put in two copies. We put in another 9-star. And then we put in our 6-star Dragon Slayer we just made. And that's a 10-star. So let's go to Alamac and let's give this guy some imprints. Here we go. So our first imprint node is going to be damage reduction. That's really good for Alamac. And we put Bleaker in here as well. And on the next one, we're going to go with Block, as that also really helps Alamac to perform well. So we put that down, go ahead and upgrade, and then we put in ourselves a 10-star Demon Hunter. And then we're going to use our Stellar Shards to go all the way around to get even more stats on here. And this last one, probably just going to go with Armor or Control Immunity. Probably Control Immunity. And then we need another 10 star to go in here, which means we need to build somebody. Now, we have plenty of food still sitting around. The two factions we haven't touched are Shadow and Abyss. So we're going to make ourselves a 9 star in the Shadow faction, and we're going to make ourselves a 10 star in the Abyss faction. Now, which 10 stars have I not made? Margaret. And I have a lot of copies of her. So we could go ahead and build ourselves Margaret, and that's going to be super, super good. So let's go ahead and build a 6 star in the Abyss faction. 
we'll go ahead and start with Illyria right here. And that should mean a nine star Margaret is really easy to do. So we'll go ahead and put in Margaret copies. We've got three of them there. We've got our six stars and then we need 13 fodder heroes. So we got one, two, three, and then the rest of it, who are we going to use? So we got ourselves Scary here, Berea, Dantalion. We got a Balrog. We got a Gusta. Ooh, that's a lot of Gustas I have. I'm going to save them. We got Karims and Cruz. I got four copies. That's fun. But I do have one Nakia. Oh, I'm done. That's 13 already. Fantastic. So that's a nine star Margaret. Now, for Margaret, I'm going to get her this chest open. Abyss hero coming out there. Nice. So we'll go ahead and summon that before I forget. And we also need to build a nine star in the shadow faction. I have a lot of food here. So we need two six stars to build immediately. So we'll go ahead with Bone Carver and we'll get ourselves somebody else. Who's this going to be? Oh, how many Blood Blades have we got? We've got quite a good number of them. What about Walter? Only two? Fantastic. There's a six star Walter. So our nine star, who is the nine star going to be? I have three Karmas. Let's go with Karma. Let's do it. So we go to nine star Karma. And we put those copies in. And we've got ourselves two six stars here, Walter and Bone Carver. Now I need 13 fodder heroes. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we need a few more. So we'll go with the Aidens. That takes us to 10. And then three more now. That should be pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Nine star karma. So we'll go to that Margaret now. And we're going to go ahead and build her to 10 star by putting in two more Margaret copies a six star and a nine star and that is done 10 star margaret built and made with all that we can get a lamac up and you might be thinking hey you're missing a 10 star i am we're gonna get rid of sarja now i've thought about keeping sarja around as a fortress hero to use in the gate of the void but you know what guys i am just gonna feed her because we can build more 10 stars as we go so what i need to do is remove this b stone from the sarja so we'll start with that. So what I need to do is get a Sarja out the bag. I already have one, so that was pretty easy. We go back to our heroes, go to Sarja, hit the swap button, and we'll now swap the copy out. So there you go. We now have a naked Sarja and a bee sitting in the bag. So that bee, probably just going to feed it or sell it. Doesn't really matter. The more important thing is that 10-star Sarja can get fed, which is great. So we'll go to this Alamac now, and he is going to feast on a Margaret and the Sarja. And that is Alamac made to Void 4. Now, for funsies, we're going to go put this Alamac to the test by sending him in to fight the Seal Land. Yes, that's right. We're going to see what he can do in Seal Land. I'm going to give him Auspicious Lucky Cat and hope that's actually going to do something. It probably should, right? The ramp up on Auspicious Lucky Cat isn't terrible. So we'll go ahead and give himself this. He's got Attack Attack. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. So we're going to go ahead and try this. I think we're going to be pretty good. We're probably going to destroy them. Oh my word, look at that already. Hey, Sigmund blocked. You know why? Because he's got guild tech that gives him freaking block. Let's go. <laughs> oh wow, also the basic attack from Alamac, I believe, improves the block of the team. So this is going to be really, really easy, I think. Yeah, th these guys are getting murked. So I'll just, I'll just skip this. You guys know it's going to be a win. We'll go ahead and watch the boss fight. Let's see what happens. I, I think it's going to be very strong. Very, very strong. So again, blocking with the Sigmas. Whoa, full shields immediately. Amazing. Sherlock isn't even getting a dove off. Why, why, why am I even bothering? But wow. The whole team is shielded up. We're basically unkillable. This is so stupid. This is so, so, so stupid. <laughs> and with the auspicious lucky cat as well, they don't have a chance. Because we already have, thanks to Treasure Train, reduction based on attack. Lucky cat gives us even more reduction based on attack. And then we get so many shields from every block we do. And on top of that, lucky cat's going to improve our overall damage every time Alamac attacks. This is ridiculous. Oh, man. We're going to completely shred this. And you know what? Alamac's active skill isn't that bad, man. I don't even have Giant Killer on him. If he had a Giant Killer freaking effect, that would be stupid. He'd be wrecking these heroes like nobody's business. I think he's going to be completely fine. There you go. Beat that. And we'll go ahead and beat the next one, which is Seal Land 23. 
This is going to be completely fine. I've run out of challenge attempts, so I'm going to buy another, what, 12 of these. We'll go ahead and hit this one more time. There you go. And the next boss fight, I'm imagining, still super easy. We're going to be completely fine. And we love the train. Yes, we do. Oh, no. Sigmund number two didn't block. Uh-oh. Okay, but I think we're still fine. Then again, we got crowd control. We got frozen, horrified. Not nice. Good. It is good, Aroan. Good to see you, man. Thank you for the sub. We are getting a good active here, hopefully, from Alamac. Just needs to get some flipping energy right now. Gets hit a couple more times, he'll be fine. There you go. He's got his energy now. And we got a dub off. Well done, Sherlock. And we got a stun from Alamac. There's the active. Brilliant. And, okay, I think the thing that's going to stop us is probably round 15. I think that's what's going to result in us dying. Because that was a longer fight, that seal land there. But we can still skip through. Absolutely fine. Don't think we're going to get any problems. And here we go. Seal Land 24 now. Is this going to be too much survival? Not enough damage? Because if it is, we need to switch to Melodic Strings. That will have to happen. Then again, Lucky Cat is going to ramp and ramp and ramp us. So maybe Lucky Cat's still better here. Right? It's a hard call to make. Very hard call to make. I, I think, you know, I think Lucky Cat is the best option. Because every action is going to buff us. So, I think given the round 15 limit, Lucky Cat still ends up being better than Melodic Strings because of the limit, right? Just goes on and on and on and on. And then our survival also becomes ridiculous. Not to mention, Alamax survival already is ridiculous. He's just going to sit there and just have an infinite second health bar, right? That white bar right there is basically untouchable because he's going to constantly get shields back every time he blocks. And they're going to do no damage. Because of all the damage reduction we have. So, yeah. Should be looking good right now. We're getting hit still. Which means we will be doing a lot of counters. But the main thing here is his active skill. It's going to do a lot of damage. There you go. Mincing. And we got one guy left. There you go. He is dead. Round 10. Not bad. So we'll go ahead and skip through. Three more times. And this is going to be seal land 25 now. So let's go see what happens. I'm expecting insane stuff. This will be really, really good. So, wow, double stun off from Alamax. Super consistent there. Very well done. No crowd control from our Sherlocks, unfortunately. But yeah, we are losing our little guys, even though we have an insane treasure train, which is giving these guys over 200 million HP. They are still getting killed. Which is a little wild. And change the imprints for damage? Uh, we, we will if we need to. That's the thing. There's so many things we can change to make him have more damage. We could put Balance Strike on. We can stick on, obviously, crit damage, holy damage, skill damage, all sorts of things. Right now, he's just built defense. So if a round 15 pops up, we'll go ahead and put all those aggressive changes in. Okay, they are starting to do some damage to our shields now. But then again, we are still restoring them. <laughs> so I think we're okay. It just depends how much damage does the active skill do. Oh, it really didn't do that much at all. Wow. Okay. So every hit we take is going to be more counters. We're going to gain energy. Oh, the energy steal there. That was not pleasant. Okay. We have managed to kill one, though. There's an active. Oh, my word. When the active hits, the active freaking hits. Wow. And yeah, we should get this one there. There it is. Madness. That was freaking crazy. 8.2 billion damage. Sick. Okay. Seal on 26. Defeat. Mm. Now, is this because we cannot kill them, or are they killing us? What's the situation here? Did it go to round 15? It might have done. Jolly well could have gone to round 15. Hmm. If that's the case, we need to build this for damage. Yeah, looking at this... Yeah, there is no way these guys kill us. It's round 15 that's the issue. So we need to go for pure unga bunga damage time. So what we'll do, we'll change all our stuff around. So, rather than having damage reduction, we're going to put on crit damage. Rather than having a block, no, no, we keep block. Block's important. We're going to put holy damage in, though, and that should be very, very nice. Now, it doesn't do a lot for him, but it still buffs him up enough that we are going to get some significant noticeable damage. So, we'll go back into the seal land. We'll see what difference this makes. I've used my challenge attempts, so we're going to buy another four. Are we able to do enough damage thanks to this? No. Oh dear. What's happening? Is it because we have inconsistent crits? 
maybe. Or Balance Strike isn't on here. That's a really good point. That's going to massively improve our damage output. Correct. So we'll go ahead and put that on too. Let's not forget it. There you go. Balance Strike might just be the golden ticket to get the win. Is it? No, still getting defeated. Hmm. I'm going to watch this. What's happening? Not fast enough getting CC'd. Ooh, that could be the issue. Yeah, we get stun locked. And then we can't move. Oh, and then we're not getting enough bonuses from the lucky cat. Oh, that's so true. That could be a problem. That could be a huge problem. Because that, that active looked good, right? That was damage. So what's happening? Oh, now the crowd control is coming out. Ooh, we don't like that. We don't like that at all. Oh, and the energy steal? Oh, well, there you go. We will never get another active again. That's the issue. It's energy steal. We just physically do not have a way to gain enough energy to beat these guys. Yeah, look at the- what was that? He had 90 energy, then he lost it all. Oh, wow. And we literally can't win because we'll never get another active skill. And we have to rely on only counterattacks. So, not a lot I can do there. Melodic strings time, you think? Try one shot the whole thing with strings? It's bold, it might work. If it doesn't work, that's fine. So we'll stick melodic strings on instead. Build ourselves now a little more aggressive. Let's see what this active skill is going to do for him now. Is it enough to one shot them? I don't think it will be. And if it's not, that's going to be a huge issue. Because then... We're going to have to try and get two active skills from this. Yo! Stunned on the first round. Oh, that was just rude. That was so, so rude. Okay, maybe he's going to get an active here. We've got Horrify on us. That's not nice. But we do get the active. Bruh, it wasn't enough. What the heck? We still get defeated. Right, try that again. But this time, don't get CC'd. Do an active round one. Buddy tried his best. Try to go for a speed stone. I don't want to push this. Going for a speed stone, because that's going to waste dust. And I'd rather just wait until we've got Tree of Origin on him when we get to level 130, because that's going to give him an insane amount of speed. Right, we've got an active on him now. Yeah, I don't think it's enough. Because his damage is only going to go down now, because that's what Melodic Strings does. It's the opposite of Cat. Yeah, I don't think we beat this because we just don't have enough damage. And that's fine, right? It's okay to have a hero that can't hit hard enough because at the end of the day, he's not got Giant Killer and he's more of a defense hero anyway. And with all that energy steal, the one thing that allows him to do damage, which is his active skill, just is not available to us. So we're just going to have to go ahead, put the defense stuff back on and build him as the support he was always meant to be. So we are going to have to go ahead and build ourselves at some point some flags and stuff to give to this hyperspace hunter Alamac to make him nice and tanky. For now though, I'm just going to give him this little golden crown over there and Mockman can have his melodic strings and Eloise, she can have her auspicious lucky cat. Now, if I go take a look, how has putting all those void improvements changed what it looks like for our Mockman? So we've got some improvements to add here anyway. So let's go ahead and level all this up. Nice. And we'll go ahead and level these up. Very good. We've got a few more clicks. We've got a lot more here. And again for Forkis, there you go. Now let's go see. That's given us 1.4 million attack for Mockman. What's his attack stat at now? Alamac giving a lot as well. He's on 6.99. Dang! This guy is nearly at 7 million attack. And I don't even have the Tree of Origin on him. We haven't unlocked Void Campaign. That is ridiculous. So folks... Give us a little bit more power and we'll have that. So let's see if I can get that little bit more power. I'm going to go and get ourselves some guild collection treasure train stuff to see if this is enough to take us to 7 million. Oh, that's that was almost good, but it wasn't what I wanted. Next one. Here we go. Did get a few items there. Nice. Okay, so we'll go ahead to quick operation. We'll build a few of these. Has that done what we needed? Let's go have a look. And there it is! We have exactly 7 million attack on our Mockman. That's so stupid. This guy, when he gets Tree of Origin 5, oh my goodness me, he's just going to break 10 million immediately. So folks, there you go. That is what has happened today. We got ourselves a Void 4 on Alamac. We did some Seal Land, and Mockman is even stronger. 
Next week, we're going to be getting ourselves a ton of fodder heroes, and that's going to mean we'll be getting ourselves a lot of stuff prepped when it comes to building E5s. That's right, we need to branch out, we need to get this Forkus to be our last tenant upgraded, so we need to get him to E5, and then we need to start thinking about getting 10 stars ready for the Tree of Origin, because I am level 125. I am so close to being able to make that leap to getting ourselves the Tree of Origin. We'll be able to go in the Glory Challenge, get all this stuff done. We're going to have a wild time. So folks, if you want to catch all of that, hit the subscribe button. That is going to be in two weeks time that is going to happen. So not next week's episode, but a few more episodes since then. So we'll see you next time, guys. But before we leave, we need to go ahead and make sure we've opened all our stuff for New Year. You're absolutely correct. So if I go into the New Year celebration, I've done all this stuff for logging in. We've got 25 more of these chests that I picked up when we completed 150 points on here. If you didn't catch last time, I already spent the VIP points. So let's go ahead and open this up for the final time. What can we grab? We got ourselves Stellar Shards and Crystals of Transcendence. Really, really nice. And my backspace is so much lower now. Do you want me to do 60 in Fate to finish? Yeah, you're right. We'll do Guidance. I, I, I ain't risking it. Screw that. But still, we got Arania. How many Arania copies are we on now? I got another Sphere. That's nice. And yeah, let's go check Arania. Let's have a look. I should have quite a good number of them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Arrhenias. Yeah, that's 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 close. Who do we go for now? Oh, you know what I want to get? Let's do it. You know how we got rid of Sarja? I need another Fortress hero. Let's build Holmes Young. Let's do it. Let's get ourselves a Holmes Young on this account. A 10-star Holmes Young will be a really good crowd control hero. And he's a hero I can use very nicely in the Realm's Gate. So we've got 40 more. Let's see how many Holmes Youngs we can get from this. You ready? Let's do this thing. So we got ourselves that sphere. We get one Holmes Young copy straight away. The first thing we opened. There's an Elena. Nice. 20 more. Will we get two more Holmeses? No, we get a sphere from that one. And the final 10. Any more Holmes Youngs? No. But that's a lot of spheres coming through there. Absolutely fantastic. Where does that put me for Stellar Shards now? I think that's another, yep, yeah, another 1 million. So we just got 2 million Stellar Shots today. Cool. That's wild. And all ready for crystals. Can you believe it? We are on 2.24 million. We are nearly halfway there to our third Transcendence Hero. Folks, I'll see you next time. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to catch more of the Turbo series, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in future content. Loads of progress coming up next week. We're going to get tons of artifacts, tons of heroes, build ourselves a lot of stuff. And then the week after that, we'll get ourselves the Void campaign unlocked. See you next time, guys. Have a good week. And of course, happy idling.